simple things in puzzle lab welcome to another edition of simple things in puzzle lab in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to blend images to the background using puzzle lab or how to fade the side of your picture that you've inserted into puzzle lab how to fade it correctly so if that's what you are really interested in then you just have to stick around and watch this video to the end and get everything for yourself hey this is Goswe here from serene arts and i welcome you back to this channel if you're new here please consider subscribing and if you're old over here thank you so much for coming back all right so we just have to get this tutorial underway okay so the first thing that we have to do is to change the background color of our working space so let's say we want to use white for this one okay so after making the color white we want to import the picture that we want to actually fade into the background or blur a portion of it all right so we click on a plus icon we go to from gallery then we pick the image that we want to use okay so i'll just quickly grab one image right here and use it for this particular tutorial okay i got this one here so all i have to do is to make sure that i bring it in right here okay so this is the picture i'm going to use and i'll lock it right here now having imported a picture like this you, you will see that the bottom of the picture is sharp all right the bottom of the picture is sharp and we don't want it to be showing like that okay so if you are someone who is really really interested in like cutting the edges of your picture to make it blend with the other parts of your work then you gotta watch this all right you gotta watch this so the next thing that we are going to do is to go ahead and import a shape or add a shape so you go to shapes you can change the color of it but let's just increase the size of it first so we bring it down let me change the color so that you can see it clearly all right you can see exactly what i'm doing here now once you've done it like this you go ahead and use gradient now the gradient that you are going to use there's only one thing you have to take note of okay so tap on a plus icon and by default you have this gradient over here all right so you tap on this part okay the part that is at the top all right the part that is at the top currently this ash part is the top one over here okay it's at the top here and the black is at the down here all right so we want to tap on the top here and go to the color icon then reduce the opacity to zero make sure you follow this carefully and from there you can incre increase the black portion a little bit just like this one okay then tap on okay so this is what you'll be having basically all right basically this is what you'll be having but if you're not okay with that you can go ahead and push the black a little bit up again just to make sure that you are getting something perfect all right now once you are done with that you can tap on a check mark now this is where the main work is coming in all right after doing this this is what you have to do the main work so to do the main work make sure this shape is selected once it is selected like this go to texture all right tap on texture then add texture now the texture that you are going to add it should be a texture that is, you probably want to blend with the picture that you are using so i i get some texture right here so i'm just going to grab it quickly yeah i think i'll go with this one so i'll just change the size of it probably to this and once i bring it inside like this I can just do it like this and i'm good to go right so once i've done it like this i will just have to stretch it a bit to fit here so from here you can see how it is being blended with our picture all right you can see that the edge of our picture is no more looking sharp but rather the shape that we put inside and how we blended it is what is showing over here okay so in case you want to do any feature adjustments to read you can just go back to edit and go to the gradient option again lower it if you want all right 
and this is what you will be having okay this is what you'll be having so this is pretty much very simple you can change the background color depending on your preference okay depending on your preference you can change the background color to anything at all you want all right so pretty much that is it okay that is it how to blend your picture with a texture all right it is very very simple so go practice this and let me know in the comment section if you also want another video on any other thing just leave a comment down there and also any tutorial request forward it to instagram as serene ads underscore g all right so i hope to see you in the next video bless up